This video is sponsored by Pathfinder LED. Good morning, everybody. It's Cruise Man, and take a look at this beautiful 2022 Honda Goldwing. I'm thinking this might be my favorite color. So anyway, once again, I am riding home from my coffee here at Einstein's. Got a lot of work done this morning. Actually, I was finishing up the editing of my review script for this Goldwing. But we're going to talk more about that on the way home. It is Friday. I'm sorry. No, it's not. It's Thursday. And uh, it's pretty cool here in Texas. It is about, uh, well, the temperature gauge here shows 56 degrees. I think it's actually colder than that. And fortunately, there's no wind right now, which helps. But we have had some uh, cool mornings. It will get up in the 70s uh, this afternoon, which is good. So that should be uh, pretty nice weather, which is good because I have uh, some more test rides to do on this bike. So if, uh, again, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate it if you click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell. And actually, it's a pretty nice looking morning out here. For those of you that don't know, a Honda did send me this 2022 Goldwing to review. I was kind of hoping to get a 2023 model but I doubt that they're available yet, so that's why they shipped me the 2022. However, it's basically, it is the same motorcycle as the 2023 because they didn't make any changes in 2023. The only change is the price and the colors. They do offer uh, just black and red in 2023. My intention is to review this motorcycle for my YouTube channel, which I plan to do in the next few days. You should be seeing that on my channel. And the only thing I can promise you is that I'm going to do my best to set aside any bias that I might have toward the Goldwing, because as you know, I own a 2018 Goldwing. And I've owned several gold wings. So I'm going to do my best to take myself out of that uh, sphere of, of bias, you might say, and do an objective, honest look at this 2023 2022 gold wing. Now, a couple of things I can give you a little sneak preview on. I'm not going to review it in this motor vlog, obviously. But I will tell you that having ridden this bike for the last few days, I've already come to notice how much I miss some of the aftermarket accessories that I have installed on my motorcycle. Uh, the on a cold morning like this, the most obvious one is the uh, bigger windshield, that F4 Customs, which is a couple inches wider, and it keeps the wind off my shoulders. Uh, the second one that I really miss are the air deflectors under the rearview mirrors, which keeps the uh, wind off my hands. I really do miss both of those on a day like today I'm pulling my little uh, gator down so maybe you can hear me better as many of you know if you watch the channel I have been experiencing issues with my GoPro cameras uh, the GoPro Hero 10 black 
I'm having some audio issues I still can't resolve I still can't figure out why I'm having those it's intermittent I actually did a moto vlog yesterday on this motorcycle and I had to throw it away because the audio didn't come out don't know why I just didn't so those problems do persist and then this morning I noticed on my GoPro Hero 8 which I have mounted to the handlebar uh, that it started just kind of coming on randomly just turns itself on I don't know why I may be in the market for some new action cameras and I'm not sure I'm going back to GoPro I just don't I don't know how reliable they are they just seem to have a lot of issues and um, they've always served my purpose pretty well like when this works when this GoPro Hero uh, 10 this is the 10 black and the 8 as well when they work they produce really good images they have great image stabilization the battery life sucks their battery life isn't very good but they you know they do have some um, redeeming qualities you might say but but it's just not reliable so maybe I'm maybe it's time to look at something like Insta360 uh, I'm not a big fan of DJI because I have their gimbal for my iPhone and I I never have found it to be very reliable it doesn't connect to my iPhone very reliably so I don't know if I want to go down the DJI path but uh, Insta360 seems to have some pretty nice uh, stuff so I might look into that so how many of you out there use a GoPro and if you do do you have any of these types of issues put it in the comments down below I'd like to read about your experience with the GoPro and also as I'm getting ready to review this 2023 2022 actually Honda Goldwing are any of you in the market for a new Goldwing are you considering a 2023 gold link? I should also mention that in this upcoming review, I will not be comparing the gold link to my 2018. I'm going to do that in another video. I'm going to do a separate video where I compare what are the real differences between the 2018 and the 2023. That way, if you own a 2018, 2019, or 2020 Goldwing, uh, you might be wondering, is it really worth spending the money to move up to the this uh, somewhat refreshed, you might say. They refreshed it in 2021. Is it worth moving up to this slightly refreshed sixth generation Goldwing? Well, we'll answer that question quite decisively in that second video. I also want to take a second to thank Pathfinder LED for sponsoring this series of videos. You know I've done a lot of videos over the years for Pathfinder LED and they've just always been a good friend to my YouTube channel and I, I do appreciate it. I hope that you all continue to support them. Uh, when you're seeking out lighting solutions for your motorcycles. You know, you can never be too rich, too thin, or have too much lighting on your motorcycle. Pathfinder LED is the brand that I've been using on my Goldwing for years, as do my viewers. They offer high-performance lighting products for the 2018 and later Goldwing. Even if you ride an older Goldwing, they have great lighting for the 2001 to 2017 F6B models, and even the GL1500. These are the guys that brought the dynamic braking and sequential LED technology to the wing. Pathfinder LED products are easy to install and they're closely integrated to that OEM styling, so they look like something that came right out of the factory. Pathfinder LED will be releasing a new ultra-sleek multifunction LED spoiler for the 2021 and later model that should be available by the end of the year. I can't wait to see that. 
Be sure to check out all the Pathfinder LED products using the link below. And I'm also going to put links in the description of the video. Thank you, Pathfinder LED, for making this video possible. I'm excited to get home and start finishing up this review. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you take a second to give it a thumbs up. That really does help the channel. Remember, we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It doesn't cost anything. Nobody's going to harass you. We don't ask for any information. It's just you click that little subscribe button. And all it does is when you go back into YouTube, they'll let you know if we have any new videos out. That's it. So it's not like a huge commitment. It just uh, kind of shows your interest in the topics and your support of the channel, which I do appreciate. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. And remember, no matter what you ride, ride often and always ride safe.